Hi, I'm Brian. Welcome to Jackson Center, Ohio, uh, Airstream's worldwide headquarters. Today, we'll be talking about our 2022 Classic. The Classic is one of our longest running nameplates and sits at the very top of all of our models. Today, we'll be going through some of the new features, the new decors, uh, as well as some of the new design elements for the new model year uh, 2022. First and foremost, like all Airstreams, we use a semi-monocoque aluminum superstructure. The entire exterior skin, uh, as well as the roof and a bottom plate is all aluminum. The interior walls are utilize aluminum I or Z beams. Uh, they have an aluminum shell within the shell. The actual structure, and the reason we call it a semi-monocoque superstructure, is it mates with the, a separate chassis and when those two pieces are put together, it, it identifies the overall strength of the unit. In other words, how most RVs are manufactured, or travel trailers, I should say, uh, the chassis itself is the main anchor, the main strength. With Airstream, and then in that situation, the walls are put up uh, and then the ceiling put on after the furniture is put inside. With Airstream, the shell is made completely separate. The furniture is all put through the door on final assembly, and the furniture itself is attached and hangs from that shell. So the shell itself is a structural member, an important structural member of the overall unit. Here in the front of the Airstream, we have a couple different uh, items that are protecting it from the tow vehicle while in transit. If your tow vehicle has aggressive tires, uh, or if you tend to do some off-road or gravel road drives, uh, these, are un these unique pieces up front will help protect the aluminum shell. You have a stainless steel rock guard that a couple screws come off and the whole item hinges so you can clean this very easily, uh, as well as solar guards. The solar guards help protect from sun glare coming in uh, but it, in privacy, but it also helps protect the glass. So a quarter turn of these two Phillips screws will open this up on a hinge so you can clean behind it as well. Uh, the, the center one here has this knurled knob that loosens up and allows it to move up and down. And once you have it set, by tightening it, it allows the, the, the inside window to open up. Unique to Airstream, uh, we do manufacture all these windows in-house. Uh, the windows, instead of just a partial piece of that window opening up, the entire window opens up all the way. So the hinge points are at the very, very top, and every opening window has its own rain gutter to help prevent any kind of water intrusion. The aluminum LP tank cover uh, provides protection against the LP tank. It's very simple. The lid pops up. You have two 30-pound tanks inside that are censored. Uh, those sensors relay back to the smart system on the inside. You can, mo you can monitor that through the C-Zone system, which is a flat screen on the inside of the Classic, which we'll show you, as well as monitor that by your phone um, if you're connected to the smart system. Behind this, you have your storage. So this opens up in this storage Underneath, it is lit. We have a few items in there already. <laughs> but the storage uh, that is underneath the bed area, so there's a great area, this is a great spot to store your hoses, your power cable, any kind of tools you may need to bring along with you. The Right below that is a battery box. In the battery box for 2022 is gonna be housed, or housing our new Airstream Power Plus. So it's two lithium ion batteries. Um, it will have a lock core. This prototype has just a turn knob, but the actual model will have a lock, so it, it would prevent any kind of theft. Um, and it does come standard with solar. So solar, there's four ports of solar, three on the roof, all three are being used. There's three 90 watt panels, total of 270 watts up on the roof. And should you wish to use them, there's another port right here and you can actually take a kind of a sandwich board style or a portable solar array and have that out and you can identify where in the sun you may want that if you need that extra amount of solar. Barker Hitch Jack um, allows you to, to lift it up and off your vehicle very simply with a touch of a button. It does have a leveler on top. Uh, tells you a little bubble leveler, tells you if the unit is level or not. Your seven way, as you drive, it will charge your unit. So the solar is charging the unit as you're driving and towing the vehicle. It's providing uh, power back to the battery here as well, your house batteries. Your uh, safety chains, you like to get those crossed when you're towing, hooking them up to your tow vehicle. 
And as we move to the other side, the back side, it does come with our awning package. So the awning package is something that in a lot of our models is an option. We provide a standard for classic. Classic gets basically everything. So um, it, it is a standard piece. It does provide a nice shade for the windows if the sun happens to be on this side of the unit. The awning package also includes a rear awning as well. Uh, one thing we add to the classic on, on the, uh, what we call under the belly, are these storage compartments, which are great. It's not necessarily waterproof, but it's great for extra hoses uh, or anything else you may wanna bring with you like uh, pads to help kind of level you on off-road on off uh, settings, um, any kind of additional waste hose attachments and stuff like that that you wanna have separate. We have three of these, one here, one here, and the one back there on this side, and then there's another one on the other side as well. So a total of four. The stabilizer jacks are powered. You can actually power these down with two switches. There's a switch for the front and there's a switch for the rear. They will automatically, even if it's un uneven ground, they will automatically come down to a set pressure and then stop. So it automatically stops. And then if it is uneven, it'll come back up. Stainless steel, um, items is kind of an upgrade that a lot of our Airstreamers will do to their, their Airstream. Uh, with the Classic, we give that to you from the start. So stainless steel upgrade on the Baraldi vent fan, stainless steel upgrade on the shower. So you have hot and cold water coming out of here, stainless steel hose, uh, shower head. Uh, your fresh tank holds up to 52 gallons of fresh water. So a substantial size tank for any kind of boondocking or dry camping excursions. Um, and then, of course, smart plugs, and something we've added to our line this year, one of the more advanced power cable systems that's out there. And with that 50 amp cable, which could be kind of a bear to move around, the smart plug is a lot more flexible and lighter weight, so it's a lot easier to manage. We do have an upgraded wheel set, so instead of our standard 15 inch wheels that we normally use on all the other Airstreams, uh, we put 16 inch wheels and Michelin tires on our uh, classic model. The uh, main reason we do that for is it is also, not only the classics are our biggest, but they're also our heaviest as well. So uh, this is the largest model that we have here today. This is the Classic 33, and it weighs just over 8,200 pounds uh, dry. Those two axles can hold up to 10,000 pounds. So um, the Classic 30 is a little bit smaller. Uh, it weighs around 7,700 pounds uh, or just above that and uh, has the same axles. So same 10,000 pound axle. Uh, I mentioned the black and the gray tanks on this. Um, your black tank is 36 gallons. Your uh, gray tank is 32 gallons uh, on, on this unit here. And then as we move around to the back side of the Classic, we have uh, inside this polished bumper, we have an, in, we have an interior storage. Again, an extra place for additional hose, tools, camp settings, or anything you might need there. This is where you, a lot of people will put, you know, without those extra spots that we had on the Classic, a lot of people put some extra, you know, components of their waste hose or something in this area. Again, not watertight, uh, so keep that in mind when you're doing, you're storing anything like this. And then these compartments, which are all watertight, uh, another little storage area cubby in the back there as well. The rear awning is part of the awning package as mentioned, and unique to Classic are these uh, cast aluminum brake lights. They're, they're, not only are they beautiful and elegant, but we actually place a rear reversing light uh, on the Classics as well. So if you are backing up, uh, the red illuminates pretty well, but it get, does give you that extra light penetration in really dark environments, like in the woods. Uh, right above the awning is our rear view camera. That is a standard component. The camera can be used while you're driving. So it does have a microfilm built in. Uh, so you may want to mute that if you're gonna be driving uh, down the road with it, but it gives you a nice fisheye lens of both the lane behind you and the two lanes opposing on either side. Uh, it's great for backing up and that microphone can be turned on. So if you are with a, uh, a, a someone else, that person can help identify and talk you through having you come back, you know, you know, four more feet, three more feet, et cetera, as you're backing up without having to shout it in the, inside the, uh, in the camp area. Here on the patio side, we have our largest patio awning that we manufacture here at Airstream. Uh, it is powered. It's, um, 
a, a Zipti awning. We've used Zipti for many, many years. And we provide you with uh, kind of Zipti chairs with a matching awning, uh, with a matching fabric as well. Uh, the awning itself, as you can see, is quite massive. Um, I was talking earlier about the windows. We have a couple here that are open. You can see how they pivot from the very, very top. You have the rain gutter on the very top. All the windows open it gives you a great amount of fresh air that can really circulate the area. Uh, going to the front door, you have uh, 110 outlets. Those are usable if you're plugged into shore power. Uh, they, are, they are not inverted, so they won't work off your battery, but they will work off shore power. A lot of people like just to plug in whatever accessories they may have. You can charge your devices outside if you like. Um, grab handle is very unique, very classic. We, uh, we only do this with the classic or a possible special edition. Uh, doorbell, so your neighbors can come over and say hello. Before I bring the step down, the entry step is housed inside the, uh, the, the shape of the Airstream. So it's very aerodynamic, it's outside the elements. Um, it's also 100% made out of aluminum. The aluminum construction will keep it from any kind of rust or wear and tear. Uh, you can slide it down just like that and it is ready to go. Or you can roll it out to have its second step. The door, the entry door, has two components to it. You have the main door, and then you have a screen door. So the screen door, along with all the opening, the windows that all open up and provide all this fresh air, it's a great way just to let fresh air come through. Um, the screen door simply closes and engages into a latch, like so, and then the door has its own latch which it automatically engages into. So on any kind of windy day, the door won't open. Remove that latch and you can go ahead and close the door. Like all Airstreams, it closes like a, like a bank vault. And then of course, our 90th anniversary badge that we have. We're celebrating 90 years this year in 2021. Let's go inside and I'll show you around with some of the new items that we have inside the new classic. Welcome to the new luxurious 2022 Classic. We're gonna dive into the details, take a look around on the interior spaces within this model. But before I do, I wanted to highlight Airstream's smart control technology. You'll see these panels around the unit. There is one here in the entryway, there's one above the bed, there's one in the bedroom on the wall, and you'll have them throughout the living area as well as in the bathroom. These control, uh, your lights, different features, but they all connect back to the main screen that is against the living room wall. And that main screen will be able to highlight and you'll be able to access all the features of the unit. You can control your fans, you control your lighting, you can control your temperature, the solar, you'll have full battery management within this feature that allows you to see the solar power trickling in, how much, how long it will take to get to a full charge, how much time you have with the current batteries that you currently have in place. You'll show your tanks, the level of tanks, um, your fresh, excuse me, a fresh uh, waste, um, as well as your gray water. What's really unique is all that is available as well on your phone. So your phone will have an app, it's the Airstream Smart uh, app, and on that app, you'll be able to control the, your lights, your awning, um, the temperature from the air conditioning system or your heat pump. Uh, so for example, let's say you went for a hike and it got a little windy and you wanted to bring that awning in or you saw some weather coming, you can actually go ahead and go to your phone, press the button and the awning comes right in. Another good example is uh, pets. If you have pets uh, and you're plugged into shore power at a site, um, you can actually control your temperature, both AC and heat, the heat pump, um, on the two 15,000 watt, or excuse me, 15,000 BTU air conditioners that we have up on top. Uh, that, all that's controllable by the app. And you can see what the temperature is inside. So you can ha always have a reading and have a peace of mind uh, what that temperature is in the inside of the unit. Do want to cover the hydronic heating that Airstream uses in the Classic. Hydronic heating allows for a uniform and silent heating. So instead of a forced air heat that kicks on, kicks off, kicks on, kicks off, 
um, through a blower, you, this is actually a, f a hydronic heating, which is incredibly uniform throughout the coach. It comes up through the sides, right up the, by the wall, and is 360 degrees all the way around, um, and it's completely silent. It uses a glycol, which is like an alcohol derivative product, uh, so it won't freeze. Um, the Classic is, like other Airstreams, a four-season unit, and um, if you are going to be below freezing, uh, the anything that's under the floor, the, the tanks and plumbing, is heated through uh, heat pad, 12-volt heat pads, and that is all accessible on the smart control as well. You can turn those on and turn those off as needed. In the bedroom, uh, we'll kind of begin. It's available in both a queen or a twin, and they are both powered. So the beds themselves will lift up. The headboard area will lift up. That allows for a nice comfortable seating area or a different position of sleeping area. The twins are also the same way, um, but they on the twins, the backs just lift. With the queen, the whole bed actually shifts forward. It, whether you do a twin or a queen, you have nightstands on top of the nightstands are DuPont Corian. We use DuPont Corian throughout this unit. So um, on the countertops, we have them on the dinette tables, on the nightstands. We also have it in the bathroom as well. So all, so, all surfaces are a, a solid surface. Um, there's storage and drawers as well as outlets that are all throughout the, uh, the unit. We have new window coverings for our 2022 model. In the bedroom, we use pleated curtains. Uh, the pleated curtains are blackout. They allow for complete darkness if and when you'd like to have a nap or a rest during the middle of the day. Um, they, they open up to allow a lot of light through. Uh, that panoramic window in the front there allows a lot of light to come through. Um, as well as the solar guard on the outside allows for a lot of privacy uh, if you wanted to keep your windows open. Uh, uh, above the bed is a uh, um, overhead cabinet. Uh, inside that cabinet houses our new for 2022 modems. Similar to the 2021 and previous models where we had a 2.4 gigahertz modem, in 2022 we make that a dual band transit modem that allows it for greater capabilities, faster speeds, uh, better access in congested areas, uh, such as campgrounds and places like that. So you're gonna have a better improved Wi-Fi, it'll be faster, um, and it's gonna work better in more congested areas. And what's really nice about the Wi-Fi that we use, the big antenna that's on the outside, uh, if, for example, let's say you have a phone, you take a look and you're in Yosemite and National Park and you look down, you're just like, you know, it doesn't have, I don't have any cell service or whatever on your phone. Uh, because the size of the antenna that's outside there and it's external, uh, you'll be surprised how f you might be able to get service in these areas that you wouldn't otherwise get service. Keep in mind that the, the antenna on your back of your phone is quite small when you take a look at the antenna that's on the roof of the Airstream. So you're going to hopefully get better, uh, better connectivity uh, and faster speeds with that new modem. Lastly, before we move out of the bedroom, the mattress. Uh, we use an Adaptiflex uh, memory foam mattress. But the reason we chose that particular mattress for the Classic is it's incredibly soft and it's, and it's resilient to temperature. So a lot of memory foam mattresses, uh, when it's really cold, it gets really stiff. And if it's really hot, it's really flexible. Uh, this one is very adaptive to any kind of temperature, so it works well, even if the trailer is cool or, or very warm. The Classic has a nice privacy. You can bring the pocket doors out and go ahead and keep those closed. That will, and there's a magnet there. There's also a pretty stiff magnet inside the wall so they don't open while you're traveling. Um, but it gives you a little bit of privacy. Uh, moving into the galley, uh, we'll start with the refrigerator. Uh, our largest fridge we have in our in Airstreams, a, a 10 cubic foot fridge, uh, freezer on top, refrigerator underneath. Uh, this unit is fully electric. We introduced that fully electric into the so, um, our Bambi line, our Caravel line, we introduced the uh, Globe Trotters with this um, all electric fridge, and now we're moving to the Classic as well. So, the Classic has an all electric fridge for 2022. Uh, and don't forget, this unit is equipped with three panels of solar up on up, up top, so 270 watts are coming down uh, to help feed any kind of electrical items like this. Uh, storage above the freezer area here, you have a pull out pantry. 
that allows you to store canned goods, any kind of bags of items or boxes of food, and then a nice big storage, nice deep storage up, up on top. Uh, all these poles that we use, you hear that click when you kind of open and close, that's a 10 pound pole. We use 10 pound poles throughout the whole um, classic. Uh, it takes a, that kind of force to be able to open it up. Moving into the cooking area, uh, you do have an option when you order your Airstream. It can be equipped with the oven, which is powered by LP, or drawers. So you have uh, two more drawers of storage that can go in this area. The reason for that is you actually have a convection oven built into this microwave. So the microwave is in convection oven as well. The difference being, and why there's both, is in case you do wish to boondock or dry camp. If you do boondock or dry camp, this is nice to have because this obviously would require um, either a generator or shore power to run uh, while your oven will run just off LP. You have a three burner cooktop that is closed during transit with just a nice cover. But when you open it up, you have a stainless steel cooktop with three burners. Above that is the Baraldi um, exhaust fan. So you want to make sure you open up the vent on the outside, but you hit the button and you have all, any kind of exhaust will come straight out into the side. You'll notice some of these gaps that are, that are intentionally put into, whether it's a countertop um, or areas throughout the, the unit, You'll see it on that solid surface, this one here, the one in the bedroom around the unit. That's that hydronic heating. So your hydronic heating is just slowly coming up and you're having the heat kind of come through when you have that um, heater on. Uh, unique to that heater is we go to, to the faucet here, we showcase the um, stainless steel, very large sink is hot water. So the hydronic heating system also has a continuous hot water element to it. So if you are hooked up um, or not, it, it runs on either, you can run continuously hot water. Now you have some limits, of course, to your tank capacity if you're going to be boondocking. Uh, but if you are sitting at a site and you are hooked up, you actually have um, an endless amount of hot water available to you at any given time through the, through the hydronic heating system. We do have a backsplash here. It has like a sateen finish to it. You, you, it almost looks like it's the aluminum, but it's not. It actually is a protection uh, for this whole cooking area. And then, you know, the transition there is right with this wine rack area. So we kind of transition from this backsplash uh, to the actual aluminum interior skin uh, and this wine rack with a little spice holder on the bottom and on top uh, allows you to hold three different bottles of wine as well as a couple different spices. It's a nice place to store just out of the way while you're at your designated spot. So storage, speaking of storage, the Classic 33 has the most storage out of any model that we have. So you have under the sink area, you have uh, a waste bin. You've got a, a drawer that opens up with flatware. You have another drawer beneath that. You have storage underneath that. Um, again, you have storage underneath the microwave and underneath the oven. The, the overhead lockers provide a lot of storage throughout this unit. Um, here we're taking a look at the new Estate Brown decor. So this is new for 2022. We introduced the Comfort White uh, last year, which is the other decor that's available in the Classic. Uh, the Comfort White uses shaker style cabinets. The Estate Brown uses a modified shaker style but it's almost a bit more of a modernized raised panel. So it's a little different, uh, but it looks very elegant in this, in this stain and this color. And again, this is all hard wood, just like that uh, shaker style in the Comfort White is as well. As you open them, you have nice soft closing hinges throughout the unit, so it's very quiet. You don't hit the banging of things slapping uh, or, or, or closing. Uh, very adjustable hinges, you can adjust the weight, the pull. Um, if you have a lot, of, if you have some heavier stuff in there, you can make sure that that stays closed stronger. Uh, you have a light switch that oh, turns on when you open it up. It turns off obviously when you close it. Uh, so you can see what you're doing when you're up there. But the, I mean, four of these, you have a lot of storage up top on the, on the 33 Classic. In the Estate Brown, we have uh, two different colors that are available to us in the Ultra Leather. So we have Chamomile and we have Earl Grey. The Chamomile is going to be nice and light. 
The Earl Grey is a more of a medium kind of gray. This is the chamomile that we are in here today. Uh, the Earl Grey would be a tint darker than this in more of a gray uh, color. The dinette itself, again, uh, solid surface, DuPont Corian hard surf or solid surface table. And this does turn into a bed. So in the closet, the wardrobe, it is our largest wardrobe of any model, but in that wardrobe, uh, there's two pockets on either side and there's cushions in those pockets and those, po those cushions go right on top of this table. This table is lowered by a switch that is located here. It's powered. The reason we have it powered is a couple of reasons. One, um, it creates a very strong, strong base. So if people do sleep on it, uh, it provides a nice solid place for people to sleep on. But two, it's a pretty heavy table. So it's a, about a 45 pound table. And without the, the electric motor that's on there, it could be a little bit more cumbersome to raise and lower without the power. So for 2022, we opened up the classic. We let that aluminum skin really glisten on the inside and it creates just a bigger space and a bigger feel on the, on the inside of both the classic 30 and the classic 33. What we used to do is in by the windows, we used to have these window boxes that came out and they protruded quite a bit. They had to, to be able to really clear, you know, the handles that, that open up the, the uh, windows as well as the latches. And then if you had the, sh the, the blinds in between there, what it ended up doing was it ended up creating this space where it was just an unusable space throughout the whole, the whole uh, Airstream on both sides around the windows. So for 2022, we opened it up. It makes it a lot more airy, makes a lot more, it make, just makes it feel bigger on the inside. And in place, we put these Roman shades. So Roman shades now that come down and up are in lieu of the window boxes that we had in the past. They are quite long. You can see how they extend past the, the actual window itself, uh, provides a lot of covering. So there isn't any kind of light penetration that's coming through um, on that. And again, we have updated uh, fabric that kind of matches what we're doing here within the classic on a Vista view windows. And also when you take a look at the skylights. So uh, a little bit of a classic touch, if you will. So it's unique to the other models. Uh, in the other models, it's more of a standard color. Here in the classic, we're really trying to match that theme and that, and that decor. New for 2022 is a revised um, ducting that we have in the, in the, in the classics. Um, the single vent that we have that comes in, the intake vent, is all CNC'd out of a piece of steel. And on the other side of this is a um, filter that is a cartridge filter. So you can actually just unscrew these, these four bolts, it drops down, and then you have a replaceable cartridge filter similar to what you have at your home. Um, that's gonna be, there's two of those because there's two ACs in this unit. Uh, and both ACs, which are also heat pumps, um, they are 15,000 BTUs a piece. So there's a, quite a bit of either cold air coming through this and or heat if you're gonna be above freezing. When you're below freezing, that's when you wanna kick on that hydronic heating. That hydronic heating is, that is a better source of heat when you get below freezing. And we'll go jump into the living area and then I'll show you the bathroom after that as well. Here we are in the lounge of the Classic 33. We have two very comfortable um, chairs with leg lifts, so you can really get cozy. And in the middle, an area that has a piece of DuPont Corian that matches, of course, so you can put any kind of um, mug, glass, whatever you may wanna have there. Across from the lounge, we have a multi-use area here. One, it could be used for a place to do a little work. Um, so the countertop chair opens up. We have a plug, uh, USB, two USBs, two 110s. Uh, that allows you to plug in any kind of computers or devices you may want to plug in while you're working here. Um, down below, we have a lot of storage in this area. This can double either as storage and or a file cabinet if you really want to bring some files with you. Again, the classic designed uh, to bring to be your home away from home or your home. The other thing that this turns into is your entertainment area. So closing, putting the chair away, you'll notice over here we have a Bose sound bar. Across the way, we have an LG high-definition projector and a 60-inch screen, 
high definition screen that comes down. So that screen comes down and you can enjoy an um, unbelievable uh, experience that you have here. You can sit back, pop some popcorn and relax. Right above the projector, you're gonna have your Fusion uh, stereo. That stereo is connected to four speakers that are throughout the Airstream and a subwoofer. Above your Fusion stereo is your Blu-ray player. So if you do have um, any kind of Blu-ray discs or DVDs, you can play them through there. Um, and then you have some connection ports here that also play through to the projector. So if you wanted to plug in HDMI, for example, an Apple TV or something like that, you can plug it in here. Um, there's also some USB ports there as well to plug in some media devices uh, so you can play it through the projector itself. Look into the wall, you'll see a couple controls, a uh, speaker and a cavity here. This cavity is actually great for storing items, like a remote or something to that effect. Um, up here, this control, this is your hydronic heating. So this would be your water tank, your hot water tank, as well as your furnace. Um, over here is everything else. So again, um, Everything is controllable by this flat screen. It also has a control uh, tied in through the Wi-Fi to your smartphone as well. So that's available on either your, your smartphone or on the screen here. One thing I wanna highlight, um, because the bedroom is over in the front and the bathroom is in the rear, we added something unique to the Classic 33. There are motion detector lights uh, along the bottom and those will turn on within proximity of those areas. Uh, of the area. All these lights will kick on as you're walking close to them. So they're very dim, they won't disturb anybody that might be sleeping out here, um, but they do allow a pathway of light. So you don't have to turn on a whole bunch of lights just to use the restroom in the middle of the night. Um, that is, you can turn that off. So if you do have guests out here, uh, maybe some grandkids or some uh, friends that are staying at the where the dinette is and they're tossing and turning, you don't want the light to kick on and off. Um, you, can, you can manually turn those, I'm sorry, you can to have those turned off through the control panel. The woven floor, and the reason we chose this, this weave uh, rather than a straight piece of vinyl, it provides a nice texture, it looks good, but it also helps with any kind of puncture. So if you drop a kitchen knife or something that affect, the, the weaves that are woven into this floor are in such a way that it can make it so it doesn't puncture that, that um, uh, the, the vinyl as a straight vinyl would. So it, the, the wear length on this is much longer than just a straight vinyl. And that is on top of, there's a little bit of a comfort core center to provide a little cush. And then on top of that is the full seamless composite flooring, um, which we introduced last year. It's an entire seamless one piece composite floor uh, that it, it resides on top of the chassis. Moving into the bathroom, you first will come in view of the wardrobe. So two door wardrobe, mirror on the outside. On the inside is cedar lined. So we put a little cedar lining on the inside of that wardrobe. Again, on the side pockets here on the inside, you'll have the spaces where the cushion uh, to, in, to make the dinette into its sleeping area. Uh, the cushions reside on either side there. Um, some storage down below. You have a privacy door that obviously gives you closure and you can have your own area back here. And here we have the vanity, uh, opens up, there's storage on the inside. You have two lights on the outside. Great for making a nice clean view. Uh, you have a vessel sink, Kohler vessel sink, Rowe faucet. Um, so a very nice touch and an elegant touch for the bathroom. Storage underneath the vessel sink. Um, and then you have your, again, hydronic heating or is where those cutouts are. Um, you actually have a part of the hydronic heating system is a towel bar that is that warms up. So if your heater is on, the furnace itself is on, you can actually warm up your towels too. Great when it's cold outside, maybe winter, whatnot, crisp fall evenings or mornings, you can nice have a nice warm towel after your shower. The toilet in the um, Classic 33 is a macerator toilet. So in the 30, it's a standard, um, toilet, but in the 33, it's a macerator style toilet. So the shower, uh, the shower is quite large. Our largest here at Airstream, three feet by four feet. The shower itself gives you um, a lot of headroom because it's toward that centerpiece. You have a removable handheld shower head um, and you also have a clothesline that goes against the side. So if you have wet uh, bathing suits, uh, you have a wetsuit, whatever it is, you may want to line dry. You can simply pull that across. You can dry that out in there. But yeah, a mat, great shower, great size. 
And it does come with a travel lock, so we can lock in place to keep those doors from moving around while you're um, towing. And uh, it's that's one of the biggest features of this of this particular model, the three-piece residential style type bathroom. We tried our very best to bring all the comforts of home right into this particular model, the Classic 33. And that is the Classic 33. Appreciate you spending time with me today. Um, make sure to take a look at it in person at your local dealer. <laughs>